Good morning. I was good about to make my meal prep. It is Sunday and I'm thinking, you know what, this is a perfect time to show what I've been eating now that I've entered into the last six weeks of my prep. But not even that, it's just something that is so easy to make. Just for anyone that is looking for an easy breakfast, can meal prep and make a big batch that you can make ahead. Well, these are all good reasons why this is a good option for anyone, okay? And that is, ready for this? Cinnamon bread pudding. Just kidding, oh my gosh, I wish. But I made this for my family and oh my goodness, it smells phenomenal. <laughs> I can show you guys how to make this um, another video, but it's something that's also super quick. You can make it healthier, and we'll talk about that, but um, I, I got this because I took it out of the oven so that they can have breakfast. So, put this away. Anywho, so today we're gonna be making quinoa pudding. I'm not sure if pudding is the right way to describe it. Quinoa. But I'm calling it pudding because it's something that we're making in a big batch and you kind of eat like a pudding. So, and we're gonna be making it in the rice cooker. So this has been a lifesaver for me. Is it allowed me to make oats ahead of time? I though I used to cook my quinoa for side dishes, but not since I'm adding quinoa for my breakfast because I'm trying to limit the starches in my diet. So I'm sticking to mainly oats, sweet potatoes, and quinoa, and rice. And the quinoa, I prefer to have them in the morning because I'm having oats in my pancakes, so I don't want to do too much oats either. So that's what we're doing today, okay? Okay, so I'm going to quickly just go over the, what the actual ingredients are and what we're going to be using and what exactly is quinoa. So it definitely appeals for many lifestyles, whether you're vegan or you just want to eat something that has a higher nutrient content. So quinoa has gotten more popular over the years and you will find it available in most stores nowadays, even Walmart, which I was very happy to see the variety that they have, different colors. And I order most of my dry goods from Vitacost. I love them because they always have great sales. They, they're they always open to accepting coupons. Shipping is free after over 49, but I order my teas, my quinoa, most of my proteins, they have a lot going on there, so I don't ever feel like I'm struggling to meet that 49 minimum. You just gotta plan ahead. I always write down things that I'm gonna need from there, and then I'll try to order everything that I need so that I can meet that minimum. So we see all these different colors, and people think that, oh, the darker ones have more nutrients. It's not, doesn't work that way. They're just different strands. But if you look at the nutrient contents, so here we have the white one, the most common one, and then here we have a red quinoa. If you look at the nutrient contents, Everything is exactly the same. The carbs per one fourth cup, which will make half a cup, it'll expand and it'll double. So that's what you're gonna be eating. One fourth is gonna turn into a half a cup, which is a recommended grain amount for most servings. So they both have 29 grams of carbs and fat is the same. That's my mom. Um, and the protein is the same. Everything is the same. So it just depends on what you want your dish to look like. You want it to have some color. We all want some nice excitement in our lives. You can do that. And you know, some companies get a little creative and they'll try to do the tri-color. They might charge you a little bit more. So I say, why do all that? But this is cheaper. And what I end up doing is in a big container, I buy three kinds. I have black, I have white, and I have red. And I mix everything up in here. I and voila, I have now created my own multicolor mix. Again, it's not necessary, but it just looks so pretty when you're eating it that. I mean, hello. People are like, what you eating? And then you say, well, I don't know. Watch my YouTube video. It'll explain everything. Anywho, all right. So now we got our quinoa. 
We're ready to start cooking. Before I get to what we're gonna actually need for the actual pudding, um, another thing that most people like to do is they like to soak their quinoa. You don't have to, but I, after I got used to soaking my oatmeal, I just feel like it's a thing that I prefer to do. It kinda, in my mind, it activates the grain, makes it easier to cook. So as you can see here, I have put water in it and it always shocks me to see the extra residue in that water. So it it works for me to know that I prefer to rinse it and I, I keep it in water until I'm ready to make everything. So it doesn't have to be anything crazy the night before, four hours, people are like two hours, What you, you know, don't get crazy about it. For me, I just wake up or when I'm gonna plan on doing this, I pour what I need, I put some water on it and I set it aside and then before I use it, I'll rinse it a few times. So that's what we're doing. All right, so we're gonna get started on making what we're actually gonna be doing for this pudding. So we got our quinoa already soaking and you're only gonna really need three, three or four ingredients depending on your flavoring options. We got the quinoa. You're gonna need egg whites, your flavoring of choice. It can be any extract that you like, coconut, maple, vanilla, a lot of stuff that are out there. You're gonna need a sweetener of choice. I'm using stevia. People can use agave. It really depends on your goals and what you're, you're able to have. And other flavorings. I love my cinnamon. Normally I would probably add shaved coconut. I'd probably add cocoa powder to switch it up. Just keep in mind, whatever you put in the liquid is what your quinoa is gonna taste like. So, you wanna have a coconut quinoa, you do shaved coconut, coconut extract. You wanna do a maple cinnamon, you would add maple flavoring. You can even add some pecans in there. There's a lot of things you can do with this. It's kinda of like oatmeal. It's a great vehicle for many flavors and options to keep this exciting. I have to be more careful, so I'm only using calorie-free flavorings, which is my cinnamon, I use this for everything to sweeten it up. I'm using Flava Drops. This is a toffee one from My Protein. They have a lot of other flavors. It's very good. But I don't like to use too much of this because there's it's an interesting sweetness to it if I use too much. And because I'm making a big batch, I like to use some of this, but then the rest I use my own stevia. So there are gonna be two parts to making this quinoa. First, we're gonna cook the quinoa itself in water with the flavorings. We're gonna put it to cook on the white white setting and then once that's done, we're gonna then add the egg whites and then redo the white rice. So we're gonna do that all together. So the first round of the quinoa has cooked and now we're ready to add the egg whites. So I haven't opened this yet. See how it looks. So as you can see, most of the water has evaporated. So that's interesting. I'm, all right, so it's cooked, but I would like it a little cooked more, which is what I want. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit more water, and then we're gonna add the two cups of egg whites. Because this is not, this isn't necessary, but again, because of my macros, I need to find a way to incorporate my protein into this breakfast because I'm incorporating protein in all my meals and natural sources instead of always relying on protein powders. So as you can see, now I tasted it a little, not bad, but I'm gonna add a little bit more stevia. Stir it a bit more. I could add more cinnamon if I wanted, but it's okay. All right, so we're gonna put this back and, and we're gonna put this back at another, again, at the white rice setting, and that'll be good. All right, so now the timer has gone off and it is now staying warm, meaning it is done. So let's see how it looks. All right, so as you can see, all the eggs have cooked through. The egg kind of cooked, and if you start stirring, you really gotta get, you know, re stir the bottom to really make sure there's no stuck on quinoa. 
and then evenly distribute everything. So this is really it. The quinoa is cooked. The egg whites are cooked. What I like to do is I then leave this in the warm setting and the eggs will continue to have carryover cooking. And then from there, I will just... So then once I'm ready to actually distribute them, I put them in different containers and this makes for four days. Yes, so it makes a total of two cups and two cups cooked. And since I am doing the half cup serving of quinoa, that is four servings. So this is gonna give me one of my meals and it just makes it easier. So I let that aside and then I get going with my day and then when I'm ready, I'll pack it. If you are open to trying this, let me know, but you can do the same thing with oats and it's just super easy, super quick. Not quick in terms of cooking, but it's quick for your, your time commitment and getting your meal in. You can just put it aside, get your stuff done, which is what I've been doing all morning. So till next time and uh, if you get to try it, let me know what flavors you're trying or what things you're adding. You're more than welcome to add any add-ins after it's cooked if you'd like before having it. So, so many things you can do with this. But anyways, now I am uh, gonna finish my breakfast and I'm gonna get to the gym. So we'll talk soon. And if you haven't yet, don't forget to subscribe. It really does help to encourage me to continue to making these videos and also like it. Thanks.